Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline is the newest member of the BYU basketball team, Rylan Bergerston, who just signed to play for the Cougars. Rylan, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Hey, welcome, guys. I appreciate you guys having me on. You bet. Hopefully we got you out of school or something. I don't know. We're trying to do our part. Uh, you prepped in Branson, Missouri last year, and Jason Shepard brought up a fantastic question. What's your favorite yes. country music show? Because Jason's an expert about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't been to Branson, it's all about the, the country music shows. So did you go to one, and what is your favorite? Yeah, we actually went, we went to one, I want to say, a few weeks ago, one of, one of our uh, – our guys took us to one. It, it, it was pretty good. I, I forgot what it was called, though. I can't. I can't remember what <laughs> Please it was tell me that it was the Bald Knobbers, because that's a that's a real <laughs> show there. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. <laughs> uh, okay, now that the tough questions are out of the way, Rylan, uh, we'll we'll continue with the interview. Congratulations on signing with BYU. How did BYU first come into the picture for you, and uh, what you wanted to do in the next step of your basketball career? So BYU first started recruiting me this past summer. I was playing with Team Fast. They started recruiting me in July and kind of offered me immediately for 2016, liked me a lot. But by then, I was already committed to this prep, and I, I really thought a prep year would be good for me. So I came here, and they kept recruiting me, kept talking to me, stayed on me hard, stayed really consistent on me, and kind of offered me again for 2017, mid-March, and I really liked them and thought it was a great fit. So I was like, that's, that's definitely where I want to go. So what other schools did you consider, and, and what really pushed BYU over the edge for you? So I was talking to Hawaii really seriously um, pretty, pretty recently before I committed to BYU, and then I was also talking to Santa Clara and DePaul and um, – San Francisco, schools like that. And then I went on my official to BYU and just really loved it. I thought it was a great fit for me. Loved the coaches, loved the players. It was just it just seemed like the right spot for me. How do you feel about the new basketball practice facility and the Marriott Center and the thought of playing in that environment? It's it's amazing. The practice facility is really amazing. I, it, it blew my mind when I first saw it. And the Marriott Center is obviously amazing. And the thought of playing tonight, it just, it is. It, it like gives me goosebumps. I can't wait. Now, you played with and are really good friends with another BYU signee, Colby Lee. How much uh, did he play a part in recruiting you to Provo? Um, he may have played a little bit of a part, but I think you can't really make a decision based off where someone else is going. I think the decision was primarily based off the school and how it fit well in there. But, I mean, it's obviously going to help you a little bit to know that there's someone else you know going to the school. Ryland Bergerson, recent BYU basketball signee with us on BYU Sports Nation. How would you describe your style of game as a basketball player? Um, I would say I can, I'm, I'm pretty versatile. I think I can do a little bit of everything. I think I can shoot the ball well. I think I have a pretty good basketball IQ. I know how to play the game. And then I think I'm also a decent defender who can, who can make, make some plays on that side. And I think I can do just a little bit of everything. Is there an NBA player that you kind of pattern your game after? Um, well, I would say I try to pattern my game after Clay Thompson. Obviously, I'm not quite that good. But, I mean, <laughs> I would love to play like him. I mean, he's a great two-way player. He can defend extremely well, shoot the ball, score the ball. So, I mean, I would, I would pattern my game after him. Yeah, that's, that's an elite selection. Yeah, uh, that's not bad at all. Clay, Clay Thompson. <laughs> Do you like to shoot the three as much as Clay Thompson, Ryland? Um. I wouldn't say I shoot about that much, but I, I think I, I shoot the ball pretty well and shoot it pretty good amount. So we've heard a lot about your dad as well. I know he was uh, quite the player at Boise State. W were the Broncos ever in the mix for you? And there, there's obviously a pretty healthy rivalry between BYU and Boise State, mostly in football. But uh, how did Boise State fans react to you signing with the Cougars? Yeah, so I, I've seen a couple of, couple of Boise State fans a little bit mad, but I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't let that affect me. I think this was my choice, and I thought it was a great choice. And, I mean, they, they recruited me a little bit. I mean, they've recruited me, like, just a little bit over the, over the three years, but not, they've never really gotten real serious about me. We mentioned that your dad obviously played a, a big role, you know, for you in athletics and played at Boise State and was, was picked up in the NBA. What, what kind of role and, and what kind of mentor has he been to you, besides being your dad, in terms of basketball? He's played a 
Bro has been a great mentor. He's he's all over the place trying to figure out information about schools, trying to get schools on me, trying to just help me figure out where I want to go. And he's done a great job of staying out of it and letting me make my own decision, but also giving me all the information cost because he's he's been great. I just, I love him. Where do you feel like you can help BYU basketball this upcoming season? I think I'm someone you can plug in, and I think I'm someone that can just do like a little bit of everything for them. I can knock down open shots. I can come off ball screens, get guys open. I can kind of guard some of the best players and kind of get in the stance and try to stop them a little bit and kind of rebound a little bit. I think I can come in and just kind of do a little bit of everything for the team. We realize that, uh, you know, everybody needs to have something to get away to because it can't always be about basketball. So when you're away from the game, what are your interests, hobbies? What are the things that you do when you're not playing basketball? Um, I don't know. I, I just – not a whole lot. I mean, I'll just hang out with friends, maybe play some video games, watch some basketball, watch some other kind of TV. I mean, nothing really special. I mean, I don't really – I'm not into, like, skiing and all that extra winter stuff. I just play basketball and just kind of chill out. And, and watching country music shows in Branson, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that too, yep. <laughs> <laughs> if, anybody, if any one of your friends hear this interview, they're going to be like, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing that would have made that question better since you decided to come to BYU is if the show that you had seen was the Osmonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, you'll never forget this interview, Rylan. That is for sure. <laughs> yep. That's for sure. Yep. Re- recent BYU basketball signee and newest member of the BYU Hoops team, Rylan Bergerson. What was your recruiting pitch like from the current coaching staff led by Dave Rose? Um, it was just telling me I'll, I'll come in and they'll give me opportunities and they, they love my game. They think I can, they said they love my versatility and they think I can come in and make an impact if, if I'm willing to work and, we're going to do what I can to make an impact. We, we mentioned that you know Colby Lee, but do you have any relationships or have you crossed paths with any of the current BYU players throughout your basketball career? Um, well, Braden Shaw actually played on the same club team I did, Hoop Dreams. He played with one of my friends on a club team. So I know him a little bit, not extremely well, but I mean, if you play on the same club team, you're going to know each other somewhat. When do you uh, expect to make your way down to campus and, and become a permanent fixture in Provo? So I'll come June 26th is when the, the summer session starts. So I'll be, I'll be there June 26th and ready to work. Ryland, great stuff, man. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Welcome to the BYU basketball family and to BYU Sports Nation for that matter. We look forward to seeing you. And uh, hopefully we didn't cause too many problems with your school schedule today. <laughs> No, it was, it was fine. I actually had a day off today, so I'm good. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. It worked, it worked out. Mm-hmm. All right, Rylan. Hey, yeah, great, great to talk to you, man. We'll, uh, we'll get you in studio when you get down here. Sounds good. Thank you.